Presenting the full error circuit using MemRister in none and NOR layout for hybrid CMOS integrated circuit. Digital gates such as NUN, NOR, and INVER can produce a lot of combinatory logic functions, and one of it is full error. Digital gates nowadays use transistor as the core element. The generation of transistor has evolved a lot and had been upgraded in terms of performance since it's been discovered. Also, it's relatively known that the size of transistor had been decreasing as time went by. This was Phil's the infamous Merce law, which stated that with the increment of time, the transistor count will be doubly increased for every 8 months. However, it is also known that as size gets smaller, the higher the current leakage will be. Oh. How can we solve this? That is when Memristor comes in the way. What actually is Memristor and how can it help to solve? Not until recently, the fundamental circuit elements are known to be the resistor, capacitor, inductor, and fourth, the memristor, which is in short of memory resistor. Memristor has many interesting characteristics. Memristor remembers its loss resistance even when the power is off. It has the relationship between flux and charge. It is considered a switching device with simpler structure than transistor. It is also small with nanoscalic structure. Has the structure of metal is a metal, or in short MIN, which is a lot more simpler than the current conventional CMOS. There are many ways to implement memristor, and one of it is hybrid CMOS, which consists of memristor and also CMOS transistor in its structure. By using the 0.13 micro technology in Metrographic, we are able to design the hybrid CMOS layout which includes a memristor, a small part of it. Pairing the size of non gate between conventional CMOS and hybrid CMOS, the hybrid CMOS resulted to have 67.6% of area decrement, while with non gate the decrement turned out to be in 75.1% difference. When both gates are being implemented in full error, the total is 20.1% decrement in favor of hybrid CMOS. In the case of power consumption, Using the simulation from Alex Price, it resulted to be 29.6% less. This project can be seen as innovative in many aspects. It will cost a less amount of transistor in a chip for the same functionality that saved the die area and less number of pins. It plays an important role as a switch in nano-electronic scale devices and also consume low power. It can be very beneficial and give significant impact to the advanced technology performances such as having money, having high potential in technology development and also improved performance quality. So to validate this circuit, we assemble it on breadboard. As you can see, we applied 3 voltage to the potentiometer and an LDE and this is the switch for a memory stir. This is the memory stir itself, the fabricated memory stir. Okay, first we apply positive voltage. So the theory is if we apply positive voltage, when we turn on the memory stir, it will uh, make the resistance low, so it will turn on the LED. Turn on, LED is turned on, and it, and we push, and the LED will turn off. So, next is when we put uh, apply negative voltage on it. The theory is if we apply negative voltage, you won't, the reason will be high, that's, it won't turn on. So, if it's on, it won't turn on, then they won't be 